Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches, episode 233. Oh boy, tonight I am reviewing Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. So we brought out the big guns. Oh. First things first, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink, trywink.com slash moviebitches. You get $22 Ooh. off your first month of wine. You now too can drink it out of your own decanter. <laughs> Your own vase. Um, I will not lie. I was not fully sober for this <laughs> viewing. So, this is going really. One of us has not seen it, and one of us was possibly intoxicated. Great. Not bad. Just feeling feeling good. I was like not looking forward to it, and so I was like, well, you know what? I should make this as pleasant as I can. <laughs> I decided after watching Last Jedi and then upon seeing the trailer for this that it would just be better for my psyche to just skip it, much like I did with Solo. I think I'm good. I, I think you are good. Yeah. I mean, I think you're great, Aww. but I think you're good. So I watched it, and yeah. actually, I was surprised. I think I went in expecting it to be a lot worse. Sure. It's a fully competent movie. I definitely preferred it personally to The Last Jedi. Okay. I know a lot of people disagree. There's a lot of like diehard Last Jedi fans out there. Yeah. And that's great. Good for you. I like The Last Jedi a lot. Sue me. Whatever. I personally found the, the plot of The Last Jedi to be absolute nonsense. We spent so long in this well, what low plot? speed chase what? of, well, yeah. There was uh, very little plot. It was, it was, so this does the opposite. It's too many plots. It was, the plot was, coherent enough, but okay. a lot of things happen. It's constantly moving. We're like, okay, now we're here, now we're here, now we're here, now we're here. <laughs> well, they basically had to take, my my guess, again, I've not seen it, is they had to take, for the trilogy of it all, Last Jedi was unhelpful. It was a hard left turn, and they're like, hard let's go a little bit back this <laughs> so way. It was a hard left in a different direction, <laughs> yep. and they were like, oh no, yeah. we need to finish the arc we started in Force Awakens, yep. and make two movies into one movie for the final movie because Last Jedi doesn't really count. It was kind of a little offshoot. That's my sure. guess. Yeah, that, and that's pretty much more or less what they did. Okay. I think it will shock, I don't think it will delight you, to hear how they did all of that. Well, yeah. Well, okay, so I have some predictions. Okay. Maybe we read them at the top and we'll see. Because Force Awakens was basically just a soft reboot of New Hope, my guess is that this is essentially going to be a soft reboot of Return of the Jedi. That's my guess. It's like, you know, we kind of just soft re rebooted the first one. I mean, okay, so it has to come to an end. There has to be a bad guy. They killed Snoke. Mm -hmm. So he can't, he's dead. So there has to be some dark light side. Who's gonna, you know, what's going on or whatever. So my guess is that, cause it's too obvious. Kylo Ren's been evil the whole time, right? So it has to be that like Kylo Ren is, obviously he's still struggling cause he's emotional. It's gonna be essentially the Luke plot from Jedi. Am I, should I be on the dark side and join the dark side or should I be on the light side? That seems like that's where they're going. Cause she's Luke Skywalker. So then it's like, well then is her, I mean, <laughs> there's gotta be some lineage too. Okay, so that was my other guess that either Kylo Ren and her are secretly related in some way. Because I mean, they do, they are like linked. And the franchise has not shied away from incest before. So, you know, I was like, maybe there's some kind of <laughs> the Rise of the Skywalkers. I don't know, maybe like Luke had a, had a fling with a Sith Lord or something. I don't know. So anyway, that, that's one of my predictions. Okay. Okay. Because I rewatched the trailer mm -hmm. and I was remembering the Sith army knife. Because now she's the Emperor. <laughs> <laughs> that was just such a choice. Like it looks dumb. <laughs> Stupid. Like she looks stupid <laughs> doing it. I know she looks all like you know. Evil I mean, they've emperored her. Yeah. Ugh. And she's all like Emperor palpatine out. So mm -hmm. I was like, oh, okay. So she's definitely like gonna be, evil. or or she's gonna see her evil person in the tree. Oh, who is it? Me? Am I who? What's going on? There's gonna be some mystery with that. Mm -hmm. Or she's in a some kind of psychological turmoil over her dark side and light side. That's my guess. Okay. <laughs> Luke's definitely going to show up as either he's alive or uh, some sort of force ghost. That's that's a prediction. He has to. I mean, come on. 
It's just like, what's gonna happen? I mean, that's just like a guarantee. <laughs> so there's that. Oh, maybe Carrie Fisher shows up too, cause like, you know, bye. It's gonna be like a ghosty thing, right? I don't know, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna read that because I'm so what? right or I'm so wrong. Okay, so then um, Porgs are definitely gonna be like the new Ewoks because they're gonna show up. Those like little yeah, I know. penguin y things. No, I know. Okay, they're gonna be like, burr, burr, burr. we saved, we, we, we destroyed the, the, the shield generator. Burr, burr. But they don't talk. Or do they talk? I forget. Mm -hmm. They're gonna sell more toys and put Porgs in this movie, and so they're gonna be like the Ewoks. And um, oh, I had a wild idea that I, I may not, I may be too too wild for Disney. But I was like, what if Finn and Poe kissed? I'd be into it. I don't, uh -oh. I don't know, I don't know. But I would like that, because there's always been like a, because Finn's like, oh, I kind of like you, Ray, but I don't know, but I don't like Rose, but feelings. And then Poe seems like he's fluid. So anyway, that was a prediction that I had. Cool. I'd be into it. I'd like it Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, that'd be fun. Yeah. They just like made out yeah. and it was like, you know, uh, there's like fireworks going off and then the Ewoks are playing star Stormtrooper drums and they're making out. Love it. Love it. Yeah. But I'm probably too... That one definitely doesn't happen. Probably too much. Too much for Disney. Too far. Okay, two more things. There's going to be some kind of Death Star equivalent big baddie thing that they're going to blow up. That's a guess. <laughs> and Carrie Fisher's definitely going to have some terrifying like CGI'd nonsense like I showed like they had to like fix it later that's not really a prediction for the plot more so just like production issues because it's sad so that was my guess because I know they had like scattered footage of her from the other movies kind of so it's obviously not gonna be well drawn anyway those are some predictions that I had I mean just based on the trailer I that's very impressive. Okay, come on. Well, it's just going to be Return of the Jedi. That's J.J. Abrams, hey. I'm just <laughs> Soft reboot this franchise. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Just like, tap, just tap it. Don't worry about it. You're still in good shape. All you got to do is just tap it in. Just tap it in. Tap it in. Tap it in there. You already got it. <laughs> just tap it in. Give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap a room. Oh, because... Last thing, I did look up one thing, which oh. was like the, like the, like the cast. Okay. Sort of just to see like who was involved in mm -hmm. the project. Right? J.J. Mm -hmm. Abrams directing, and J.J. Abrams co-wrote the screenplay with Chris Terrio, whose last two writing credits were Justice League wow. and Batman vs. Superman. And I was like, oh, this does not bode well. And, those, no. and there was like one other thing, and that was were the only things that he had written. Yikes. And I was like, Disney, what? what What's what? going on? I mean, that probably does account for some of the freneticness. Mm. You know? Justice League was the one where they had to get the three boxes together. Yes, there was three boxes, and, and they had to... you complete the puzzle, and then you destroy the... <laughs> Step in time is gonna... Yes. <laughs> destroy the universe? I think so. If you put the three boxes together because they create mother, there was a mother, mother, I and, and an octopus. Anyway, let's get into this movie. There was tentacles. Anyway, okay, so tell, so tell me all about it. Oh boy, I'm gonna take you on the journey. I was, I, I had my uh, earphones in, my eye mask on. I really tried to stay clear of spoilers. Good. So. Okay. Well, here. So okay. So here we go. Spoiler alert. Oh yeah. This is gonna be the plot of the movie. Oh yeah, so, so if, I, if I spoiled a bunch of stuff in my predictions, I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't... Oh, well, I mean, that you didn't know. I didn't know. You didn't know. <laughs> I mean, you kinda knew, but... It's just Jedi, right? <laughs> There's gonna so... be like a throne room and it's gonna... Anyway. Everything that has transpired has done so according to my design. Okay, so, spoiler alert. Yes. We're gonna talk about everything. You could go see it. It's not a bad movie. I had a good, fun time. Like, honestly, I had a, a like a popcorn-y fun time at the movies. I've heard that it's like ADD. Like, it's just, um, oh, that was shiny. Yeah, you kind of, it kind of just keeps you moving. So, you don't really think about anything too much. But I, at the same time, there's a lot of earnestness. <laughs> it's pretty superficial still. You know, it's like not like it's like, ooh, whoa, they really went into it. But... Saccharin? It was definitely cheesy, but like at a level in between the originals and the prequels. Oh. It was no prequel cheese. Well. <laughs> I left feeling kind of hopeful, like yeah, especially the audience. Okay, it was weird. Hopeful for what? 
the future of, of like toppling franchise? No, no. Of oh, like okay. hop, toppling dictators kind of thing. Okay. You know, like especially because like I was in a theater, it was weird. It was not packed. Okay. I was kind of surprised. I thought it was gonna be full. It was a third full. Okay. People were clapping, hooting, and hollering. I think you might have actually liked this better than The Force Awakens because uh -huh. all of the characters that you loved were already dead. <laughs> they couldn't kill him again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, so we start the scroll. Yeah. The dead can talk. Oh, oh no. Or the dead speak, it says. This movie is filled with dead people. <laughs> and I, I found it uncomfortable and frustrating because it's just like, you guys. You mean like dead characters? And dead people. Well, Carrie Fisher, but like other than that. I guess that's They don't like re resurrect it. Peter Cushing, do they? No, not again, no. Turns out Palpatine still alive. Somehow. What? He fell down a shaft. Uh -huh. with lightning. And uh -huh. like... uh huh. The Death Star exploded. Uh huh. It, He's alive? Uh-huh. Like as like a spirity... The voice of Palpatine has reappeared. Like he's, he's like a... He's like a spirit. He's and not it's, a it's, entity. It's called... We, we'll get there. And it's called to Kylo Ren. And Kylo Ren... The then, voice. The, the spirit, the voice, the force, Sithness of it, calls out to Kylo Ren. Oh no. And he then finds this... Sith Wayfinder, which looks like a little green glowing pyramid with a red dot in it. Okay. And he puts it in his ship. Just He just finds it. He, he oh, because the spirit told him. He, sure. He, I forget how many... How did Last Jedi end? I couldn't tell you. Oh! They're on a with planet... With the ice fox. Do the ice foxes mm. show up? Mm-mm. Um, no more ice foxes. So he finds... Well, so, <laughs> do we find out how he's alive? Yes. Okay. I'll hold my tongue for the time being. Yep, we'll get there pretty quickly. Because he was disintegrated in uh, space. Uh huh. So Kylo puts a little wayfinder in. Uh -huh. He's zip zapping around space. He goes through a little supernova. He goes through a little obstacle He's here. He's having an adventure. It's like a whole obstacle course to get to Exegol. Okay. They keep saying Exegol, and I couldn't tell what they were saying. It was like Exegol, Exegol, Exegol. Never heard of it, but I'm sure apparently it's in like the I'm sure it's mythos. in the books. Exactly. It shows up in the Clone Wars cartoons. It, sorry about it. Is it like when when Darth Maul showed up and was like, hey, remember when I was cut in half and thrown down that shaft? I'm alive because and the I comic book says spider so. legs. That's right. Oh, oh my God! Remember tell that? Me that Palpatine doesn't have spider legs. It's worse, April. How? Okay. Does he have a spider head? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. So Kylo Ren makes it to Exegol, right? He's right. going through this thing. Lots of um, flashing lights. They had to have like an epilepsy warning before oh. you went in because it's like lots of flashing lights. Ooh, cha cha cha. Because of like lightning? It, yeah, because of the electricity of the planet. I don't know. Okay. It's never explained. Okay. But they had to do it and then warn the four billion people that were going to be in the audience that for an epilepsy. Yeah, yes, exactly. It was very necessary. It was very I mean, it's there the whole time. It's got to be spooky. Ooh, ta 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 ta. His thing is that he's like, I killed Snoke, but now it turns out that Palpatine's spirit or whatever force power is still here, and oh, I have to right. kill him in order to be the most powerful in the world. Because all galaxy. he wants is power. Power, power, power. Right, because his parents didn't love him enough. Exactly. Right. So he shows up. And he's like, Palpatine. Wait, no, he says that? I, I don't remember what he says. But there's like a... Do you remember in, in Spider-Man? Which one? The older ones when there's like... Tobey Maguire one? Yeah, when there's like Doc Ock or someone yeah, on like a like weird the... control arm. Yeah. He's being held up no. with vials. What? And like, he's Wait, like, this is in the movie? This is in the movie. Vials? Who gave him vials? I, Who's he, revived him? The, Does he have minions? Yes. Are the Porgs his minions? No, the They are evil. <laughs> no. That would actually be amazing. <laughs> that would be. If it was like, the twist was that it was like, oh, we've been evil this whole time. And it was like, yeah, I know, you're fucking annoying. <laughs> that would be so great. <laughs> oh, I wish that's what happened. And they were all just like, purr, purr, 
Like, like hippity, hippity hopping yeah. around? Yeah. yeah, no. Okay. No, but he has like this Frankenstein lair. But like, who's Frankensteining him? He's, himself? He's the monster. His, his Sith spirit can still control and convince other alive people to help reincarnate him. Then he reveals, are you ready for this? This is at the beginning this of the movie? This is the beginning of the movie. This is the first two minutes of the movie. Oh boy, yeah, I'm glad I did not go. Uh huh, yeah. So then he reveals that he created Snoke. Cause, cause Kylo's like, I'll just kill you like I killed Snoke. That was easy peasy. And he's like, bitch please, I created Snoke. And then they cut to like a Frankenstein, like liquid filled glass Oh, like, tube? like, you know, like, a, like Luke in the diaper when he's like healing in the tube. Yes, it's like a giant aquatic tank filled with like Snoke clone prototypes. What? Why? I, to show that he What's... like created him, like Doctor Frankenstein. I don't know. Why does he need multiple ones? Were they like that was the best? Those one. were the rejects, the or one I we killed. I, like, I, these I, ones are the less. The, oh no. I don't know. But Snoke is like a species or something. We thought he's just. Or is he? I don't know. Kind of a, why would you make like a tiny, like if you're trying to make like a, mm, a powerful villain. Sure, why not villain, give them like a big physical make presence. Make them very handsome, charismatic, and big. Sure. And white and male. <laughs> and then, you know, you just write your ticket. Sure. Right? Uh, well, he, I guess. Instead of the tiny little yeah, weird I, looking. I don't know. Oh, Maybe that was what I know happened why. because it was Frankenstein. I know why. Because they didn't plan these movies ahead of time. Yes, very that. <laughs> Oh, that's why. Oh, that's why. So he's still just all like he's floating. like really shriveled and like his like some of his fingers are missing and he's like from the lightning. Yeah, I guess <laughs> if I, like from he hasn't like fully had the energy and power to like regenerate all the way. So he's been chilling for thirty years, thirty-five years. Regrowing himself? Apparently. And he reveals uh -huh. that he, in the meantime, has also been building a giant armada of <laughs> Star Destroyers. With his mind? With his minions, that I guess. That are not the Porgs. That are not the Porgs, unfortunately. Is he, like, controlling the First Order? He is the First Order, essentially. Because Snoke was the controller of the oh, First that's Order. that's true. And he apparently built and controlled Snoke. So, yes. But now he calls this the Final Order. And okay. he has all of these Star Detroit Destroyers with those, like, um, planet-destroying cannons. Okay. And so there's... Who built them? The, the minions. I don't know. Okay. It's the same as the fucking Clone Wars. Who built all them? I don't fucking give a shit. Well, they did go to that weird planet where they're yeah. all tall and like, yeah. Ooh, we make the clones. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, they're like all like, ooh. It's like tall. You placed the soldier thousands of years ago. Yeah, it's that like nonsense. A, God, those are such nonsense. They really are. That's what I'm saying. Like, so this movie was like not as nonsensey as like the last, you know. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Wow. So anyway, he's like, here's my plan. I can't believe this is the beginning the, of the, the movie. The very, very beginning. Okay. He says, I have this plan, we're gonna unleash all of these Star Destroyers across the galaxy and they can all destroy a planet so no one will be willing to stand up against us because they'll instantly be destroyed. And so then if you kill Rey, then you can be in charge of it all. Because she's more powerful than Kylo. We don't, we don't know yet why. He just says, you just gotta, you gotta kill that bitch. Okay. End of scene. Because she's the last Kylo. End of scene. <laughs> so then we cut to Poe and Finn okay. and C-3PO and Chewie. C-3PO? Yeah. Was he in Last Jedi? He's been in all of them, I think. Has he? I'm pretty sure he's been in all of them. Well, I know that that is true. Anthony Daniels has been in all of them, but did he have like a part? I think he like shows up. Okay. And was like, oh, hello, you found me. I've been waiting. I think I've forgotten a lot of the old... I forgot a lot about it too. Of the of the last two movies. And on all honesty, I like, was like, oh god, I have to put the, piece this shit back together because I have not watched those movies since they came out because I had no desire to. No. They are like in the Millennium... Millennial... Mil the Millennial Falcon. The Millennial Falcon. It's typing on a typewriter, <laughs> like a man bun, <laughs> glasses it doesn't need. They're in the Millennium Falcon and they like fly up to some ship. There's some weird, poorly looking alien. He does not, they did not do a good job. And he's like, oh, there is a spy that gave us information. You gotta download it into R2D2 was there. Okay. 
They found out that there's a spy in the First Order, and they're like, great, thanks for this cord, and they plug it into, into R2-D2, and then all these First Order ships are coming, and they're like, we gotta go, it's not done downloading yet, oh, you know, it's one of those things. The little dots are lining up. It finishes just in time. They take off. They download what? They download a message from the spy. Got it. Okay. And then they gotta get to... They gots to go. They gots to go. Oh, what? Man. Wait. Wait. Wouldn't it be such a good twist if Donald Gleason was the spy? Fuck you! Is that what happened? <laughs> That's why his acting was so bad! Cause he couldn't pretend he was over he was overdoing it. He was like, I'm gonna be extra evil so they won't know I'm secret. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, these movies are so dumb. How much eyeliner is he wearing though? <laughs> is it a lot? Not as much. Not as much, okay. That's oh my stupid, God. but he murdered a lot of people. Yeah. So this was also a, a last minute decision mm. from the writers because uh -huh. he's a person that people remember that could be the spy. I guess. Instead of random person. Sure. I have a question. Uh huh. How many people does Poe inadvertently murder in this movie? Not as many okay. or maybe any. Okay. He's definitely less of a villain. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh no. He is still a poor leader. Yeah, oh yeah. But the, the, the casualties are really more a result of like the scenario yeah. than his particular choices. Well, it's weird because he's Han Solo. In the first movie, Han Solo would be a very bad military leader. Right. He's out for himself, he's roguish, he's, you know, only who cares about what's good for him. Yeah. And how, what, however that'll get him there. And over his arc over the course of the movies is to care about other people, be responsible, like learn to work as a team member. And yeah. you think they would have at least tried to they they did copy that. paste that? They, they did. Okay. Do they have? Does he have a mission with the Porgs? And they have to no. like, break so, something? Okay, I, I just because I can't with the Porgs. Okay, because I hate them. The Porgs show up for literally two seconds. Okay. And that's it. Okay, great. Well, that's a plus. Yes. So, no right. more questions about Horns, please. Okay, I'll give it up, I'll give it up. <laughs> Wait, but does an Ewok show up? Yes. What?! <laughs> Do they go to the moon of Endor? <laughs> they have this whole little light speed adventure where they're trying to lose their bogeys. He destroys- Their bogey Lowensteins? They're trying to get to his party, because Nigel must be, has the Brie. <laughs> must be Nigel with the Brie. <laughs> Oh wait, so Ray's not there. Not yet. So it's just Poe and Finn and, and that lady who tried to kill herself. She was not on the ship. She's with Ray. Oh, she's not here yet. Yeah. Right. right, so actually I was wrong. So before we see them download the cable uh -huh. nonsense, uh, we have a scene with Ray. She starts talking to Carrie Fisher okay. and I'm like, because I forgot. I forgot. You thought she died in the movie? I couldn't remember if she died in the movie because she died like twice in that movie. You know, it was like this well, big yeah, thing. Well, yeah, she did die. She was like, you know, sent out into space, and then she was like forced goes, herself, and then, then, then they were like, recovered. For yeah, a while? yeah. So I was like, what? What's happening with her again? But also, like, obviously, sadly, in real life, she is dead. Yes. So I knew that they agreed with the estate that they were not going to CGI her. Oh, that's right. So okay, that prediction was wrong. I mean, I'm sure they still did. It was not wrong. <laughs> So apparently they used footage from that was cut from the yeah. uh, the previous two films. I don't know what they had planned for that movie because, like, either they were so constrained uh -huh. by that in what story they could tell with her in this. But there's a lot. She is in the entirety of the movie. Really? Well, no. Was maybe there was a thing where they had already shot her scenes. No, I looked it up. Okay. Because that's when I was like, oh, wait, maybe they had already started filming and then she died no. or whatever. Apparently, it was just stuff from the cutting room floor. Archived footage and dialogue using a process called rotoscoping to clip out Fisher's whole face from that footage and superimposing it on a stand in actor in these scenes. So she's like training Ray in the forest. And Ray takes one of you, like the little. Training her in what? To be a Jedi. But she's not a Jedi. She apparently is now. I mean, she has the force and limited ability, but she's not a Jedi. Well, she, she's, she's training her. I don't know what else to tell you. But Carrie Fisher isn't like, well, I'm a Jedi. She so never I'll... says those words, no. Great. 
Because having gone, the Force and being a Jedi are two different things. Right. Not going to get into midichlorians. Oh, no. No midichlorians in this movie. We can't do it. We cannot. <laughs> Does Obi-Wan show up as a Force ghost, too? No. No. Is it just a menagerie? It's going to end, and it's going to be like Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, except it's just going to be everyone that's dead, and they're all Force ghosts? No, it can't be! It can't be that stupid! No. Not, not quite, but almost, yes. She's like going over a tree, over a ravine, and like, pa cha cha cha, I got the force! Right? She's doing great. Pa pa cha, I got the force! Yeah, okay, great. And then, oh no, Kylo Ren, my Skype buddy, is trying to Skype me right now, and I'm busy. <laughs> No, not right now. I'm force training, bitch. Cancel, cancel. Shh, mute, mute. <laughs> when he's FaceTiming her, uh -huh. is he wearing a shirt? Or does he have those? No, he never He on? never has the, sh the shirtless. Because, uh, um, I mean, that was iconic. It was iconic. No, we never see that again. Come on. Sadly. I mean, I'm sad because my takeaway so far is that they're definitely going to fuck up whatever semblance of a character Kylo Ren was. Like in, I find him to be interesting, but mainly I think because they underwrote him. But Adam Driver is such a good actor that you think there's more going on, but they're just gonna fuck him over. He's gonna like probably sacrifice himself to save the greater good. <sighs> He's gonna be hanging out, waving at them as a force ghost. Oh boy, <laughs> that can't be it. So she goes to train, but oh no, he's interfering. Oh, Carrie Fisher, what's going on? You seem a little out you of it. Lost your. Your focus. Exactly, right? And she's like, oh, I don't know. And she's like, never be afraid to be you. Okay. okay. Moving on. So then they show up with the message from the spy. So the message says that Palpatine is alive. <laughs> That would be quite a message message to receive. Right? Oh, and Palpatine is alive? Like, what? I feel like Carrie Fisher would be like... What? <sighs> yeah. Well, I was there! I right? saw the thing explode into nothing! The particles! Well, we will talk about that okay. as well. Ray then is like, oh, wait a second. I remember reading about that in all of these notebooks of Luke's that apparently didn't burn in Yoda's tree. Yeah, they burned all the text. Maybe not Luke's personal diaries, I don't know. So anyway, she's like, oh, I read in there about how to find a wayfire to Exegol. To specifically there, to Exegol. Where that's what he was trying to find at some point, to that's where the Sith home base is. Okay. So, oh, so he was trying to like, figure it out when he like, was on exile, when he was... Okay, is Emperor Palpatine, like, has he become one with, like, a planet? And he's, like, Ooh, the core of the planet, and then... On his little robotic arm? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It should have been, like, a... He's a presence, not a physical... I agree. ...body, because agree. that's stupid. Stupid. Because he died. Yeah. <laughs> thrown down a shaft electrocuted and then the Death Star exploded. <laughs> he can't breathe in space. He's he's still a person. I, we in will, some regard. We will get there. But I like that. Like, oh, he's, yeah. he's ooh, the essence of the planet. Uh, yeah, anyway. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, great. I know where to find that MacGuffin. Exactly. The first box. <laughs> yeah, the first box. So then Leia was like, oh, well, I know someone on... <laughs> Pasana. So she sends them to Pasana. Ooh. They land and they're like walking in this desert planet. Oh my god, is this where Lapita Nyong'o shows up? No, Lapita Nyong'o's back on the main base with them. Okay. And her <clears throat> makeup must have taken hours. Hours? You look a little different though. <laughs> how, how long did her makeup take? <laughs> how long did her makeup take? That's CGI. Now how long did that take? <laughs> it's so stupid. So they get there and <clears throat> C-3PO announces, oh, well, it's very fortuitous because today is the All Saints Day, you know, nonsense, some holiday, prequelsy, like, ooh. ooh, celebration, like, ooh, here's the aliens, look at the alien, you know, ooh, the parents and the kids and the, you know. Oh, yeah. One of the local aliens, for unknown reasons, uh -huh. gives Rey a necklace. And introduces herself, I'm so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. And C-3PO is translating. 
And he's like, she wants to know your name. And she goes, I'm Ray. And she goes, and what's your family name? Because that's something that every stranger who gives you a necklace on the street asks. And Ray goes... Is, is the alien like, I feel her presence or something? I, I don't know. Okay, we and, know. and Ray goes, I don't have one. I don't know my people. I'm child, like, Ray, right? I'm an orphan. I'm hurt. Yeah, what? Real subtlety she, of filmmaking. She, like, must have a last name. Luke, you know, okay, I can't be with my birth parents. I'm gonna go live with my aunt and uncle, mm -hmm. right? Uh, they raised him from birth. He has a last name. Like, that's uh -huh. his childhood. Uh huh. But Ray, it seems she is just formed at this age. I think she was an orphan her whole life, and we find out more about that through flashbacks. But, like, she was a baby at some point. Like, someone had to take care of this baby. Right, but I think when she was a child and abandoned by her parents that we see in flashback. Oh! So we do find out some about... Oh, we do. And then, oh no, Kylo Ren force Skypes her. God, he just can't get her on the phone. <laughs> He's constantly making her answer when she doesn't want to. So is like Palpatine like force Skyping them to force Skype? I don't think so. I think he's trying to find her. He doesn't want to kill her, okay. as far as we know. But he's like, because but if I have they... to, he wants, oh, because he's like, look, bitch, Palpatine's alive. He wants me to kill you, but I don't want to kill you. I want you to take my hand like when I offered you. Right. And you should have, Let's like, we can kill him and we can sit on the throne together. Right. And she's like, no, I don't want to do that. So then he snatches the necklace off of her neck and it then yeah. transports via force to across the oh. galaxy to wherever is the he fuck he is. Is he still hanging out in Exegol? I think so. Okay. No, he's back on a Star Destroyer with Donald Gleason and, and whoever else. Got it. Donald. Donald Gleason? Whatever. And your guy. Oh yeah, Richard E. Grant's in this, right? Yeah, he's like the super evil general. Okay. Because now Donald Gleason can't be evil because he's the spy. His whole thing is now that he wants Kylo to fail. Because he just hates him. He says to the, he's, later on he lets them go. Yeah. He's like, I don't care about you, I just want him to fail. Petty. Yeah. So he's on the ship with them or whatever. And so he, Richard E. Grant's there and he's great? Yeah, yeah he was good. He love doesn't have too much of a role, but right. he's there and he's, he's love him. always good. He snatches the necklace and then he's like, they analyze it and they're like, oh, it came from this solar system and whatever, this planet. Got so it. They, then he flies down. Oh my God, they're here. Oh, we gotta hide, find a place to hide. Oh. Thank God that Lando snatches us into some weird taxi cab. What? Lando Calrissian. Yeah, he was in the trailer, but he's has, just there. He's on this planet, which is the person that Leia knew on this planet. Oh. God, just come on, come on now. Mm -hmm. Does Lando snatch them and then go, oh, what do we have here? Probably. <laughs> Hello, what have we here? Does Lando, because he's in it, right? Yeah. I mean, like, he's like in the movie. Yeah. Does he reunite with his love that is the computer that lives inside the Millennium Falcon? No. Oh, really? Oh, I forgot about that. Shock. Remember that? Oh my god, I, I know, forgot about that. I love you, yeah. robot lady who's now part of the Millennium Falcon and we changed all the lore. Well, he does fly on the ship. Sure. We'll get there. I mean, it was his originally. Exactly. So it's just like Jedi when Luke's like, I'm a liability. Palpatine knows where I am. Okay. And then they're like, oh, we're trying to find Ochi's ship, which is where the Wayfinder is, or where he knew Doesn't where the Kylo Wayfinder is. Does Kylo Ren have the Wayfinder? There's more than one. There's two. Of course there is. When you put them together, that they become no. a diamond? No. And they, okay. Oh, I like that, though. Right? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, the two try it. And then it's like, and it's like, wow. It's like yeah. a, a Crash Bandicoot thing or something. Yeah, I don't know. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're like in the desert, running away from the First Order people. Yeah. And he is going to- Are they calming the desert? Are we being too literal? No, you fool. We're following orders. We were told to calm the desert, so we're calming it. They get attacked. Chewie gets taken. <gasps> They're running away from the First Order. They have like a whole chain, you know, like, oh, boo, boo, boo. oh no. Oh, the God, there's this really horrible dialogue. They're like stormtroopers on like, you know, little ATV kind of things. Like, oh, like in Jedi, when they're, they're in this forest. Right, but these are like sand snowmobiles, and they're like, but then it like kind of flips up and ejects one into the sky, oh, no. and then they have a jetpack, 
where they can fly and then like shoot grenades down at them. C-3PO is like, oh, they fly now? And then everyone's like, they fly now? And then someone else was like, oh, they fly now. And I was like, really? They fly now! They fly now? They fly now! This was the dialogue that we had to settle on? Why did they all have to say it? Thank you. It was just so much of like, they thought it was a joke. Oh, they fly now. Oh my god. Anyway, that was the whole thing. Then they finally kill them all, but then they're all stuck in quicksand. In the middle of this desert. Oh my god, is the Sarlacc pit there? No. Oh. Uh, did Boba Fett show up? No. Oh. Uh. He was not Frankenstein, sorry. <laughs> Shucks. Because, like, you know, he flew into the Sarlacc pit, so. And he, so, like, climbs out on a vine. I've been here for 30 years. You know, he's just like, I'm good now. The 30 years of digestive torture have cured my evilness. I would have liked it. Sure. Uh, hello. Meant to do it. Thank goodness. I thought I was doing this thousand years of digestion alone. They can use his jetpack. Anyway, oh, yeah. we can move on. Yeah. But I would have liked it. I mean, why not? Why not? He can be a force ghost. Who cares? <laughs> They're like, oh my god, we're all sinking in this quicksand and we're all gonna die. Oh my god, please tell me that Hayden Christensen doesn't show up as a force ghost at the end. It can't. No, Andrew, it can't be. It can't be. No! Get used to disappointment. Thank God they <laughs> fall through the sand into an underground cave. They're in this pit. They're like, oh gosh, oh, you know, so and so was here. Ochi was here. C3PO, oh, these tunnels are probably made. I don't want to know what they're made by. Well, they find out there's a giant serpent. They're inside of it. They're no, in the. No. Like in the. They're in the tunnel oh. of the giant serpent. So there's this giant, silly alien serpent. <laughs> and it's like, ooh, I'm gonna attack you, ooh, but I'm not. And Ray is like, ooh, I'm all. I'm good inside. Does she start speaking parcel tongue? No. <laughs> Instead, she walks up to the serpent and then she sees that the serpent is injured for reasons unknown. I still don't understand. So then I was like, oh, is it like the the evilness of the Sith Wayfinder was like it ate it or something and now it's been like created Bleeding, an ulcer or, yeah. and it's like for, you know, it's just like, oh, I've been stuck here with this ulcerotic like Cause Sith Because she's Sochi? What's her name? Ochi. No, Ochi was a person who was apparently evil and I don't know. Okay, great. Actually, okay, I think Ochi was apparently abducting her parents, we find out later, to take them to Palpatine. <gasps> she is like, oh, you're hurt. I'm gonna force energy, life energy, she calls it life energy, you, and heals it. What? It's like a rapid healing thing. What? When can she, why can, what, when did that happen? I, That's now. Not a thing. That's yep. not a thing. Oh, it's a thing in this movie. So she heals the serpent, and then it's like, oh, thank it's you. It's like Daniel in the lion's den or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. Quite right. and then it, oh, I pulled the, the, yeah, the, the thorn, thorn out. out of yeah. the... And then it runs away, knocking a hole in the, the tunnel for them to escape through. God, this is really just like a video game. Yeah, it is like a video game. They find the ship. Of course, they find a new droid. This one was kind of funny, because she like turns it on. And Why it, are we she was introducing like, new characters? I don't know. She tries to get close to it, and it's like, it backs away. It's like, no, thank you. No, thank you. And I'm like, yeah. I wouldn't want her to touch me either. Who, Ray? Yeah. I mean, she's really, yeah, general, like, stranger, no thank you. Excuse me. <laughs> Don't touch me, please. This is my dance space, thank you. Exactly. Oh, I forgot, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, okay. So, back in the tunnel, at first, they find a Sith dagger. C-3PO is like, ooh, I can read this. <clears throat> But sure. it's in Sith, which is a forbidden language for me to translate. <gasps> it's against his protocol. His protocol, his programming forbids him from translating it. Okay. Even though he can read it. So if you, maybe if he reads it out loud, a curse happens. Oh, a hex upon the note. <laughs> this is not a Christmas prince. <laughs> they find the ship, they meet the new droid. Yeah. Kylo Ren shows up. No, in person. In not, person. Not on Yeah, Skype. he's like, here I am. Yeah. They have a whole little fight of like, ooh, I'm stronger than you. No, I'm not. Finn is like, they took, they got Chewie. This is that transport. So she's like, not on my watch, bitch. So she's like forcing the transport from taking off. Kylo Ren is like, uh, forcing no, it away. Forcing it the other way. They're force battling over this transport. Wow. And then she gets real intense and electrocutes the transport and it explodes. Like... Like lightning comes out of 
out of her hands. Like Palpatine? Going, okay. And it explodes. And Killing like, Chewie? I killed Chewie, she's so upset. Heartbroken and yeah. whatever. Shocker. He's okay. okay. He was on a different transport, we'd find out later. Well, I'm glad they had a but I got, force battle over I got really pissed because I was like, Fuck you! Fuck you, movie! This is how you're gonna fucking kill off the last of the fu- Are you- Fuck you! You know, but it, it turns out they didn't. <laughs> it's okay! I was like, Abram's gonna be so pissed when I tell her. <laughs> it does seem like Chewie doesn't age. He's, which... They announced that he's 250 years old. Okay, great. Because he's been- Oh, because um... there was a whole scene on the Millennium Falcon at the very beginning where they were playing chess with him. Oh, God. Or, you know, the whatever. Of course they were Of course. Chess. And they're like, you does keep he, winning. Does he topple the board? No, he's like, you guys keep, they're like, you keep winning. You're cheating, Chewie. Like, you're 250 years old. Of course you're better at this game than we are. And it was stupid. But he's only 30 to 40 years older than when he lost in the first movie. That is true. So. But he has been an absentee dad for quite a while now. Oh, God. I know your family's waiting. I know it's an important day. Some year we should just do the Christmas special. It's truly unwatchable. <laughs> it's, it's true. Every time I'm like, maybe this time it'll be funny. And it's just unbearable. <laughs> Unwookieable. It's just truly mind numbing. <laughs> She's so upset that Chewie's dead. Yeah. C-3PO can't translate this thing. Mm. Kylo Ren, I forget how or why. He like charades it he to He like them. disappears. Um, he charades it to them. Oh my god, that would be great. Oh, so, and also Chewie was captured with the dagger oh. that they needed. But luckily, they're like, well, so now what do we do? We're screwed. And C-3PO's oh, so like, Oh, the dagger's he, the second box. This is eerily oh, similar the second box. to the plot yes. of um, Justice League, exactly. which is we need to find the three boxes and then put the three boxes together. Right. So he is like the only copy of the, what the dagger said is in my memory bank. So then Poe is like, oh, well, we should go to Kajimi, not Kathy to Jimmy. Kajimi, though. Although I would... I would love it if Kathy and Jimmy showed oh, up. Kathy and Jimmy should absolutely Give be one of Give her some back and money. Yes! Yes! They go to Kajimi, which is like a dark planet where there's spotlights all the time. It just basically felt like a World War II movie. Okay. Where, you know, the SS like, is constantly like doing raids. Like Blitzkrieg. And yeah, it's like, woo! Okay. Ooh, searchlights, I don't know. And the, oh, oh, everyone's in jackets and it's like, ooh, World War II Germany. I don't know. Poe is like, let's go to Kajimi, but I have someone that doesn't like me there. <laughs> Because he's Han Solo. Does Jabba show up? No. Oh. No. Boy, with that. Oh my god, oh. could you imagine? Can you imagine? I mean, I'm honestly surprised. <laughs> no, Greedo does. No, just Because <laughs> he's still alive. <laughs> he meets this girl who's in like a, a hood. A woman is in like a, a kind of Boba Fett esque helmet. Okay. Start talking. Turns out it's Carrie Russell. What? I literally had no idea until I looked it up when you said, is Carrie Russell in this movie? <laughs> and I was like, Carrie Russell's in this movie? I had no idea because they never show her face. No, she never takes it off? She takes the little visor off and they have like a thing on her eyes, but like I couldn't tell who it was. What on earth? Why would they do that? Why bother? To give her a paycheck. I mean, good for her. Why not Kathy and Jimmy? Yeah, give that Jimmy Kathy and Jimmy! She needs it! <laughs> Anyway, what a waste of time. it was so stupid. So there's this whole thing. Is she of like, like in the movie? Yeah, she's like, well, fuck you. You screwed me over, Paul. Like, you know, and you scoundrel. You yeah, scallywag. Exactly. And then she's like, we're gonna kill you all. And then, cause like, or cause there's a bounty on the Jedi's head. Oh, Ray, right? Oh. Okay. And so then Ray's like, nah, bitch. And she like knocks her to the ground. And she's like, haha, lightsaber. And then she's like, I like you. Yeah, I like you too. And so then she decides to help them. And they like girl power, I guess. But so she takes them. I, I, in goodness, I don't know. They had a kindred aura reading. I don't know. She takes them to Poe's friend. Kindred aura reading. <laughs> Just like the alien on the other planet when she gave her the necklace. Exactly. Uh... Ooh, I read your aura. You're good. So she takes them to Poe and her friend, who's a little tiny alien who looks like he's from Men in Black. Oh, okay. And he's a computer hacker who's like, yeah, I can hack into C-3PO's memory bank and unblock it, but in order to I do so... I can unlock his phone. 
Exactly. I can jailbreak. I can jailbreak. I can jailbreak C three PO. But in order to do so, it will erase all of his memory. And you're like, oh my god, but he's been through all of these every single movie, right? Right. But then she's just like, well, doesn't R two D two have your memory backed up on his storage device? And he's like, well, you know that that's not very, you know, reliable because our 2D2 loses shit all the time or some nonsense. Can't they just back up his memories on like a separate hard drive and then wipe it and then re One would it? think. But no, they, they can't. They have to trust. We have to erase it because of drama. Well, exactly. Taking one last look, sir, at my friends. And then to undercut the drama even more, as the little guy's going into like deactivate whatever, he's like, oh wait, I have one more I do. And I'm like, well, the fuck you, this is all stupid nonsense. Anyway, it doesn't matter because, of course, later on, R2D2 is like, bloop, 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 and they restore the memory. Question? Yeah. Not that I really care. Okay. But um, what's Rose been doing this whole time? Oh, she's just been hanging out with Leia on like the rebel base. On Endor, wherever the foresty place is. Oh, okay. They, we don't see her. She's not in most of this movie. Okay, great. Even though she was in so much of the... Okay. Hardly in it. Great. Yep. How many women attempt to kamikaze themselves for the greater good? Zero-ish? Okay. Zero-ish. That's progress. Yeah. From two? Yeah. Yes. Because Rose was like in love with Finn, right? Yes. And, and they, um, there was a kiss. Oh, she kissed him after she tried to kill herself and him. Yes, and, that... and I feel like there was a flashback to that for some reason. I she, don't... like, kissed him and he was like, oh, Ooh, I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Remember my mind, what? he was like, oh, I would really prefer to kiss Poe. I mean, I love that. I love, love that. It. Yeah, doesn't How happen. be so good. I know, I know. Anyway, so, they unblock the, the Sith translator protocol yeah and he informs them that the second wayfinder is on kefir hold on not kefir because that's a lime yeah kef beer god they're going to a lot of planets oh yeah they do so to find the third box oh yes exactly then i forget how but the first order tracks them you know there's a star destroyer that comes down it's kylo's ship oh my god and then she senses chewie's still alive Oh, oh right, they still think he's been dead they, they, this whole yeah, time. Yeah, okay, she right. still feel guilt ridden or whatever. <clears throat> she was alive. Oh my god, I have to save him. So they Also he has the dagger. Yes. Ho's friend, the the uh Carrie, Carrie Russell. Russell. She's like, You really abandoned this back on you know, who the fuck cares? Kathy to Jimmy. Exactly. I've been trying to like raise enough money to get myself out of this hellhole because the fucking first order is killing everyone and it sucks and they took the kids and they're trying to raise it, you know, it's terrible. We get it, it was grim. You know, that kind of thing. We get it, it was grim. Move on. So she's like, oh, well, I managed to get this First Order captain's medallion that can be used to, like, authenticate me to go through any light speed tunnel that's been blockaded. I don't know. I've got a third MacGuffin. Exactly, exactly. Oh. So they're like, oh, shit, the First Order's here. Oh, my God, we gotta go. They're gonna kill us all. Blah, blah, blah. But no, and Chewie's she, alive. We have to go exactly, save him. Exactly, we have to go save him. So she says, here. Take this, go save your friend. It's more important. And he's like, but this is like your entire livelihood. I mean, this is your escape from slavery and the First Order and all of the murderousness. And she's like, no, your friend is more important because. And he's like, because, come. Because we just met. I, come with us, join the rebellion. It's the only way because they're evil and we hate them. And she's like, no, I can't. For unknown reasons. She wasn't available on the day. I, there you go. And they go and land on Kylo Ren's Star Destroyer while he's then actually down looking for them on Nancy, uh, Kathy and Jimmy. But like, wouldn't they notice that this weird ship just stopped? Well, so on their systems, it's like, oh, hey, hey, like this captain guy coming to land and like they don't, it doesn't raise any alarms. But like the ship isn't... But no one sees it. Okay. Until later. No one's at the hangar bay? Stormtroopers are like, well, and they shoot them all and then it's like, fine. Okay. It's it's a non-event. She senses the dagger is on the ship. Mm -hmm. Chewie is over here. You guys go get Chewie. I'm gonna go get this dagger so that I can have my Luke, I am your father moment. So she... Kylo Ren is her dad. No. Oh boy. Could you imagine? No. Can you work imagine? Out. So she goes to like you know some weird place. It's all white room and whatever. In a white room with black curtains. Okay. There were no black curtains. Oh, okay. No. With black buttons, maybe? 
Maybe, maybe. Of course, Kylo Ren Skypes her again. She's like, dude, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Do not disturb. Stop force Skyping me. Force, force Skyping? Yeah. Then he's like, where are you? I can't figure out where you are. I'm trying to force Skype you so that I can figure out where you are so I can kind of kill you. And she's like, I'm not going to fucking tell you. Yeah, why would I tell you? And then they're like lightsaber battling or whatever. And they, can, she, they can like lightsaber battle while they're Skyping? Yes, it's so stupid. <laughs> That's dumb. They like physically connect. That's how we stole our stupid necklace. It's so weird. And they're not siblings? They're force pairs or something they're force binded they're like the it's gemini they, twins yes, exactly they're, they're the each other's Gem equal opposite miss in... gemini croquette contest they're part of the yeah they're like see we're battling she knocks over the darth vader melted darth vader mask that he had prominently displayed on like a nice podium oh Right, because that's his grandfather. Yeah, and he's had like <laughs> visions constantly of guilt for killing his father Harrison Ford I'm, obviously. So he comes back up. Because she's in his private chamber. Where the dagger is. But he's not shirtless. He's not shirtless because he's God. down on Kathy and Jimmy. Real missed opportunity. He should have been like, you know, training. Ooh, I'm, I'm just, I was just came out of the shower. Oh. I'm a little dewy. Oh, God. What am I going to do? My hair is so luxurious. Your helmet is so big. Hard right, helmet, not next time. Yes, sir. Did you see anything? No, sir. I didn't see you playing with your dolls again. Good! Is her dad Han Solo too? Because Han Solo was sneaking around when Leia and him got separated at some point? Absolutely not. That he's, would piss you off more. He's a scoundrel. He is a scoundrel, but they not that. They were separated. Well, and she's a period of years younger. I guess that's fair. No. I mean, I don't give a shit about these movies anymore. <laughs> well, I, so, I mean, love the original three. They yeah. can just stay where they are. Yep. And I'm... It's, I, I will say they, there's definitely shellacness and mm. a franchise. Disney. There's it, 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 it ruined it yeah. for me. But at the same time, it allowed me in this to like check out and just be like, yeah, sure, this is fun. This is nice. Sure, this is dumb. Whatever. It's like a fun, silly movie. Yeah. Like it's just become a different thing. It's separate. And that's most of the negative reviews that I read mm. were all like. This isn't real film. This isn't a real movie. This isn't what I loved. And I'm like, but you guys, it's just a fucking Disney and Star Wars movie. Like, what are yeah. you expecting? You know, like I. Well, even the original ones are, are popcorn black. Absolutely. You know. In the re, in the when you really look yeah. at them, like someone was like, this should have been directed by like Noah Baumbach, or you're like some nonsense. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Just my biggest problem with these new ones are the stories are either rehashed or bad. Absolutely. And there's no both. plan. Yeah. And they add a bunch of dumb shit. Yep. That's like fat. That Honestly, my favorite of the new ones is the Rogue One. Uh, I really, uh, other than terrifying CGI Peter Cushing. Yes. And terrified CGI Carrie Fisher. Yeah. I really like that movie. Yeah. So meanwhile, Richard E. Grant then is like, who the fuck's ship is this? This isn't supposed to be here. They capture them. And then. What a bunch of idiots. Yeah, well, yeah. Form a plan. I mean, right a little bit. But so then Donald Stormtrooper. Exactly. So then Donald Gleason is like. So then Donald Gleason could be like, "Aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper?" No, they never. They never dressed up as stormtroopers. Which I, I mean, was like, why? You guys, you Finn, shot them. You just put on. And Finn, Finn was, was, a was like, "Hello, thank you." Ugh. They get captured. They're gonna be executed. <laughs> oh, and there was this whole thing. They were when they were sinking in the sand. Finn was like. Ray, I Oh, I love you! No, I wish, right? He was like, Ray, I have to tell you. <laughs> sand. And so then Poe is like, what were you going to tell her in the sand? I want to know before I die. That's what I'm interested in. Apparently. Not confessing my love for you. Oh my god, could you imagine? Oh. That would be so great. Donald Gleason is like, actually, I want to execute them myself. And the stormtrooper gives Wait, him the gun. Wait, what is Finn's answer when Poe's like... He didn't say. Oh. <laughs> He was like, why do you want to know, or whatever, and then you're like, this, we're about to get murdered. Aren't we best friends? I, because the script told me to, because I, people were wondering I, an hour ago in this movie. I don't know. Anyway, then Donald Gleason is like, oh, oh I'm not going to ask you, I'm going to kill the stormtroopers, Great. and I'll let you guys go, graze me in the legs so that I can pretend like I was injured by you guys wow. while you... Wow, just for the pettiness that he wants Kylo Ren to fail. Mm -hmm. That is so petty. Yeah. So he lets them go. Richard E. Grant later discovers, uh, oh, shoots Donald Gleason dead. <gasps> just drama. full on, just like, oh, that's what happened? Boom. Love it. And he's like, tell Kylo Ren that I, we I have our I I found the spy. The leak. I found the spy. 
I was like, oh. Love that. Yeah, I was like, oh, cold. That's, that's actually the most interesting thing you've told me in the past hour that you've been talking about this. <laughs> God. Meanwhile, Kylo Ren then comes into the actual ship and he's like, no, I really have to talk to you. I have to tell you who your family is. You ready? I don't know. She has this memory of her parents being like, keep her away, whatever, we'll go. They were sent to Palpatine to be murdered because he was looking for her. For Rey. When she was a child. Okay. It's just like Harry Potter all over again. Because... She's his granddaughter. What? Who fucked him? <laughs> Thank you! My thoughts exactly! If you'd made up your mind five seconds earlier, we could have ruled the galaxy and maybe I could have gotten laid one more time before I died. When? How old is she supposed to be? If he died and has been reforming his body for 30 to 40 years, she's younger than that. And yet they... It doesn't make any sense. Oh, well, it's not his daughter. I guess it's his granddaughter. Granddaughter, but still... If... I mean, still, who fucked him, but... But, like, how old is she supposed to be if she was supposed to be alive? Right. When when he... She was a child. She was six years old, let's say. Okay. When Palpatine Killed ordered her parents. her parents to be brought Which to... Which is his daughter. Yeah. Or hot son. I think daughter. Okay. Who fucked him? Thank you. Though. Yeah. Because he was already all I mean, up. in all honesty, it was probably rape and like, yikes. Oh, bummer. Because I was going to say he already had his like, Mace Windu. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, face. Oh, Mace Windu. Remember that? Oh, no, he does not show up. Shut the fuck up. He does not. Oh, my God. Is he a forest ghost? I can't. Is it the whole people? Is the guy with the long neck there? Like, the tall guy? Is Yoda there, too? No! Oh, my God. No. <laughs> no. So, Palpatine, like, fucked some harem woman that yep. was, like, you know, Definitely. beholden to him. Yeah. She had a baby. Yeah. Then she had a baby. Who was Ray? Was Ray. And so Ray. It, it skips a generation. Is and it, and that's why the, she's the, the Palpatine. Yeah, she's the counterbalance to Kylo Ren, who is a Skywalker, because you know they're they're the the, the Force is balanced and whatever. That's the. So he tells her this. That's so stupid. It's, I was just like, oh my god! I when I knew when I was going to tell you that she was the granddaughter of Palpatine, who has. Frankenstein himself back <laughs> to life. I mean, it's just, it's, he, she's just Luke Skywalker. Oh, I have to send her, them away because they're his father, his grandfather, her grandfather is, is, evil. is evil and it'll. It is her it is Luke, I am your father moment, but yeah. instead it's Kylo Ren saying, Palpatine is your grandfather. <laughs> Look, if you're not going to take this seriously, I'm out. Oh, he puts the mask back on, too. I forgot to tell you. Oh, no. Yeah, because he goes dark. So it's really um, an overarching plot about, like, nature versus nurture, really. Yes. Yeah, Because actually. Kylo Ren had every advantage. She mm. was, you know, left to her own. The point is supposed to be if you give in to fear or not. Okay. It's really kind of, when you think about it, the same plot as Frozen. <laughs> And Snoke is like the snowman. If you embrace... <laughs> no, I think like C-3PO is the snowman. Is no, because... Of... Well, remember she created that big abominable snowman. It's more like that. That's Snoke. <laughs> That's Snoke. It's a combination the of The ice two. monster, yeah. Because, because the snowman is so small. Sure. But then the ice monster yeah, 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 so is Snoke's so little. I don't know. But oh he's God. evil. Oh my God. So at what, what like a uh, minute mark are we at at this point that this is revealed? An hour and a half, hour 45. Wow, Decent and all we've been doing is looking for boxes. Yes, for pyramids. <sighs> Speaking of, so then the quest continues. So, oh, so they all just escape. Okay, so he's fighting her. They're all, they, they. She's like, I don't believe you. Ah! Does her hand get cut off? No, I was waiting for it. Uh, I was waiting for it. I was does so anyone's waiting for it. hand get no, cut off? No, I was really waiting for it. Wow. I know. So she's like fighting Kylo Ren, and he's like, you have to join me. And she's like, no, I know what I have. He's like, you know what you have to do. And she's like, I know what I have to do. And then the Millennium Falcon shows up at the edge of this hangar on the starship. And she like force leaps. The, the thing that annoys me about these is that, I mean, obviously you just have to let it go, but like they pretend as if all of these people can breathe on any planet. Right. And also 
in space. Oh, sure. It's Be the four. Remember when Carrie Fisher was like, oh, I've been blown. I have the four. So oh, she oh, Mary Poppins yeah, herself. Yeah, back it was the nonsense. But that was, I mean, she, she, she like. I guess the force can do that too, as well as heal any wound. No. It happens again? Oh god, does Finn get like stabbed in the stomach no. and she like heals him and it's like, ah! It's worse. It's worse? <laughs> anyway, so she hops on the Millennium Falcon, they Good fly thing, to Kafir Line. Good thing we've got this coin. The, the, the coin didn't matter anymore. That's oh. how they used to get onto the star the starship. They go think to they could at least FedEx it back to Carrie Russell. I right? They go to Kef Beer. Right. Which is a moon of Endor, a planet near Endor, where the Death Star, the second Death Star, right. has crashed. What? Thank you. I was so confused. And I was like, crashed? I, I feel like I really missed something here because like a like a like a piece of It's it. like the shell. It's like a, like a, a you know Titanic esque hull of a little bit of the Death Star. It's in the trailer. They show yeah, like the... Yeah, but, and it, I was, but it was the whole, disintegrated thank into you. part of it. The whole time I was like, I'm sorry. Every memory of the Death Star that I have is of it exploding yeah. in a, uh, like a giant star. Yeah. And... Yeah. So they crash land. Yeah. And then... <laughs> Some other woman sees them. Fabulous black woman. Great hair, fabulous outfit. I'm like, okay, what's your story? I don't know. Hey, bitch, what's up? Yeah, that kind of vibe. So she shows up and is like, are you with the First Order or not? And they're right. like, uh, it depends on who's asking because we're rebels. Then. It's great dialogue. Everybody, oh my God, get ready. <clears throat> so there's this whole moment between her and Finn where they're like, because they're both black. You're a person of color? I'm a person of color. You were abandoned by the first order? I was, you were a star trooper, a stormtrooper? I was a stormtrooper that left and you guys all left and I left. Oh, it was so bad. It was really, honestly, kind of offensive. And it's just like- Sounds like it. Oh, no. So did they fall in love? No. Okay. Thank God. Oh, boy. So there's like the kind of rounded shell yes of the, of the of the death star right yeah. so ray she re remembers the the inscription this dagger knows the way or something like that or whatever so she holds it up this is like straight out of a tomb raider movie thank Does you glow? the no she's straight out of a tomb raider game where she holds it up lines it up oh it's like in the goonies with the doubloon yeah yeah ah. she hold, yeah, exactly she holds it up it matches the ruins that luckily haven't changed for 40 years wait so the dagger was made Apparently after, after this apparently crashed and settled, and then when this was hidden there, I don't know. And she holds it up, and then a protractor comes out of the a, dagger. Yeah, of the dagger with a little arrow. Like, it's like, like, whoop, like, and it says, "This is where it is." No, come on, movie. No. Why is there a reason Palpatine sending them on a scavenger hunt? I, he didn't send them. This was just. I mean, I, I feel like this was all machination. Maybe of the Force. Of the Force. Ooh. Of the force. Sith and the I, dark side. Who knows? It's who all knows? the Force. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who made that? I. So the Sith. I don't know. Uh, no. Uh, uh, gee, I don't. I don't know. I really don't know, and I don't care. The uh, script th told them to. Yep. The script that the guy who wrote <laughs> Justice League told them to. <laughs> They're on this planet with all these huge waves, but she goes, oh, well, we could get there in a day or two. And she's like, there's no time because the plan is that Palpatine is going to send all of these Star Destroyers and destroy planets until everyone submits to his will in a day. That's the plot, by the way. So the next thing, whatever, they're back on the ship or Does whatever. Does she just like boogie board fly over there? No, not really. <laughs> not really, no. Is there like a hoverboard? It's not like a fully skimboard. She's just fully Ninja Turtles. Right? No, it's not, it's not a full Ninja Turtle. It's like a little, um, like a... A schooner with like little a, like a catamaran, kind of no, but they but they're they flex. It doesn't matter either way. She like sails her way because through. she has that. She ship. found one somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. And then Finn is like, oh my god, we have to get her. And I'm like, dude, no. she's a fucking Jedi. You are just Finn. Leave her the fuck alone. Well, he's in love with her. Yeah. Right. Ish at. I don't know. Ray gets onto this thing. She finds, oh, she's climbing up like, because it's like the Death Star. So of course they have to call back to like, you know, the tall, yeah. towery things where they sure. fall and all that nonsense. This she, is so silly. It's so silly. I mean, because it's like particles. 
it is. Thank you. Like it's I just, just can't oh, get over this. April. I just can't get over it. She literally falls into like a hallway where there's stormtrooper helmets. No, 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 unacceptable. Mm. There's some part of me that, okay, if a big piece fell off the gravity, it might fall to earth, but like little helmets and pieces. Thank you. They're gonna, That's no. Nonsense, No. nonsense. I was so angry. I was like, well, this is just and fucking just nonsense. they made of plastic. Thank you, I, nonsense. Anyway, so then she finds the, you know, the, the, the lair where it's held and the door's magically open because, ooh, ah, ooh, Because open sesame? Yeah, it's made for her. I don't know. Or she has Sith in her. Is that what it is? So she goes into this <laughs> chamber. Sure. And uh, there it is, this little pyramid <laughs> floating in between two things. And she's like kind of looking at it and she's like, ooh, do it. Do it. Should I put a bag of sand on it so it doesn't booby trap me? No, she doesn't. She doesn't really. No, she doesn't actually Ugh. do that. But it was the same. Sure. Yo. Uh, uh, oh, grab it. And I was honestly waiting for it to be like, oh, and then the whole thing. Spears. Yeah. Ah, ah. Ah. And then it fell apart. But no, it didn't happen. But it was like that kind of weird thing. But she touches it, and that's where we get Sith Army Knife. Oh. Because now she's the Emperor. <laughs> Ooh, I'm your Sith inner dark spirit. And she has to fight, they literally fight. What's this though? What's the... The double, it was just because that's like who she could be. No, but like, a... what is the point of that weapon? That's what I would like to know. <laughs> it's never answered. Just, just to keep it compact. Just to keep, because there's like a tendency, it seems, of Sith lightsabers to have... Double lightsabers. Multiple, multiples. Or like Grievous. Like Darth his... Maul had his double-ended one. Remember Grievous had like three? Oh yeah, it was so like a... all his arms and yeah. they were like spinning around. Yeah. And, and, and you know, uh, Kylo Ren has this stupid one with the little baby ones on the side. Oh yeah, with the yeah, so hand guard. It just seems just like a you. thing where, you know... Well, they're idiots. Sure. I mean, they're like, ooh, you know what would be cool? More. This is so wizard, Andy. So then Kylo Ren shows up, back in her down, and he has know, to kill her. He is obsessed with her. get her to take his hand. Do they kiss at the end? So they fight for a long time, fight, fight, fight. Finn is like, Ray, and you're like, dude, you shouldn't be here. Go away. Like, yeah. she's busy. Hello. Yeah. Anyway. He's an idiot. He is an idiot. He's yeah. terrible, and his whole character is stupid. Yeah. And I'm pissed about it, but yeah. whatever. Yeah, it's a bummer. He's he's vapid. There's just no character there, and so like, I don't care. Yeah. Exactly. And Poe is a fucking villain, so I'm like, I really don't care. You know, I was just supposed to get over the fact that he killed pretty much the entire rebel fleet because of his hubris. Fuck you. Anyway. I am exhausted. How much more is there? There's probably 40 minutes. Ugh. Cut back to Leia. Oh, because we haven't seen her in a while. I haven't seen her in a while. She says to whoever she's with, I know what I have to do. So she's going to kill herself for some pious reason. She lies down and expends all of her energy. Yeah. Force Skyping her son, and says, Ben! <laughs> Wait, that's all she says? She just says Ben, his name. Yeah. But I guess it was supposed to be symbolic that like, you know, they hadn't talked or whatever. Right. She was reaching out yeah. to her son. Yeah. Oh, you killed my my love <clears throat> yeah. and your father. Yeah. You're still my son and I still see you as Ben, right. not Kylo Ren. Sure, sure, sure. But then his name would be Ben Ren. No, it's Ben... No, I know, Skywalker. but that's stupid. But it shouldn't it also actually not be? It should be Ben Solo? Yeah. If we're going to be, like, naming Sure. I mean, I don't conventions. know how... I don't... You know, Leia probably kept her own name because she's a boss. But wasn't she General... She wasn't... Yeah, I want to well. say Alderaan, but that's the planet. That's the planet. <laughs> General Argana. That sounds right. I, I think it's Argana. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You've seen the prequels more than I. Leia Argana. Yeah. Yeah. So the names really are, I guess it's just a bloodline name thing. I, anyway. But I do like the idea that his name is Ben Ren. Ben Ren. That'd be stupid. But no, it's not. So they're fighting, 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 fight, 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 fight. Ben! He's pinned her, yeah. Ray, and about to kill her. Yeah. And so Leia's like, I know what I have to do. Ben! Right? And he's like, oh! Moment of pause. Ah! 
And they both feel her die. Kind of like what Luke did in the end of the last one. Yes, and then he's so yeah. weakened that he just dies. <laughs> sure. Same idea. Right. So they can meet in Force Heaven. Exactly. Yeah. So he has like a moment of reckoning. Rey uses his opportunity oh. to skedaddle. She steals his ship, flies to fucking Luke Skywalker's... What about Finn? See ya. Yeah, she, you, you guys go back. I don't know. She's, Take the scooter. She's so emotionally scarred yeah. from Leia's death. She goes back to Luke's weird dark crystal nunning, nunnery mm. planet. Get thee to the nunnery yeah. exile. With the, with the nipples and the milk. This is where the little Burp. quirks show up. Oh, okay. They're like, she flies in on Kylo Ren's dark forces ship. And right. they're like, ooh. Which definitely would have a tracking device or some sort of GPS on it. Well, then she burns it. Okay, great. And she's burning everything. Great. She's tossing things in the fire. Let it burn. Exactly. Yeah. And then she goes to throw Luke's lightsaber into the fire as well. Why would you do that, though? So that the ghost of Luke Skywalker oh my God. could come out of the well, fire. Of course. I mean, that was obvious. And go, don't burn that. Oh, uh, don't burn that. <laughs> don't burn that. So it's just a total fuck you to Ryan Johnson. I guess. Remember when he like was like, that's stupid, and like was like threw the lightsaber away? Let it burn, whatever. So he talks to her and he's like, look, you know, Leia knew that you were the granddaughter and she still trained me as a Jedi? <gasps> oh, she saw the goodness in you, right? You know, never be afraid of who you are. That was the last words that she, whatever. Nonsense. Right. She's like, but I can't even do anything. I have no way of getting there or anything. Because she burned the ship and she doesn't have the Wayfinder. So then, the ghost of Luke Skywalker raises the X-Wing. No! 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 I reject this! Absolutely not! No! As it's like spilling water and I'm like, well that's not usable. No, it's been there for a long time. Well, I guess how long has it been since... 30 years, let's say, underwater. That's not working. Whatever. The Force. The Force. Also, there's something that Leia would want you to have. Oh, no. Her and slave bikini? <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is something that I have to ask you about because I don't remember well enough. Okay. So he then, there's like a flashback to a memory where he says, this is a thing that I learned when Leia and I were training to be Jedi together. What? And he gives her Leia's lightsaber. What now? And they flash to a scene where the two of them are young. Are young. Oh no. And they And they're like lightsaber battle training. No, that never happened. Okay, I didn't that think never so. Happened. And I mean, it may have happened after Return of the Jedi. Like not in any of the movies that we've seen. No. And so <laughs> They she, have... That's, at best, she hears Luke talk to her in her mind. Right. In the... Yeah. So they... In the first three. So they show... That's it. Young CGI'd Mark Hamill. No. And then as far as I could tell, they show young CGI'd someone who looks kind of like Leia, but not enough like her that the state could get angry that oh, they were using no. her likeness. Because I was like, but that's not her, but also this doesn't exist, but also they can't use anything that doesn't exist. What's happening? That, no, that never happened. Okay. okay, good. I didn't think it did. I was like, I don't remember this. So that happens. And he's like, here's her lightsaber. Probably one of the books. Probably. Her lightsaber. This is, I am mad and I'm glad I did not see this. Yes. I, I, this is especially where I was like, oh, we will be pissed. Oh, God, I will be pissed. I will be, oh, no, it's getting worse. No. Oh, no. No, they always treated Leia's... Force as like a woman's intuition. Of course, well, right. You know, you know, oh, she's yeah, like right. really tuned in. Oh, right, like right, her right. Chakras. So I mean, I, and part of me's not mad. That, no. Like, sure, let her be a fucking Jedi. Like she should have just as much as Luke could. Why not? They're the siblings. Well, sure, like whatever. But again, there's a difference between having the Force and training as a Jedi. Apparently she did both. Two different things. We just never saw we it. We just never saw Except it. Except for the CGI, not her, because they couldn't get the rights to her That's life. so fucked. Did she stick the two lightsabers together? No. Does she cross the streams and they make a purple one? And then Mace Windu shows up? No! <laughs> not entirely, but almost. Oh, red and blue. When I put it together, what does it make? Purple, red! Really? 
Oh, meanwhile, C-3PO is like, Hello, I'm C-3PO, human cyborg relations. Who are you? R2-D2? Oh, I forgot! Oh, I forgot! At some point within this time frame, Palpatine had them use one of the little planet string cannons uh -huh. to destroy uh, Kathy to Jimmy. <gasps> so Carrie Russell died? We think. Um... C-3PO, his memory comes back, and he's like, well... Magically? You know, R2-D2 restores it. He's like, R2-D2? Oh, no, we don't know. It. Best friend? I don't know you. And then he's like, oh, Jesus Christ. And so they remember, like, you of know. Of course. Like, uh, R2's a boss. And then he's like, well, something must be wrong with this droid because he says that there's a signal from Master Luke Skywalker. And it's like, oh, Red 5. And it's like, fuck you. <laughs> anyway. Big Red 5. Red 6 standing by. Red 5 standing by. Red Button standing by. Red 5 standing by. Big Red standing by. We found this new droid. What's his name? Who cares? They fix him and whatever else. You were the property of the Sith Lord whatever so-and-so, and you know the plans on, on Exagon and the droid luckily reveals plans that show the whole thing of like no the, loyalty oh they had this whole thing of clearly someone hurt him because no 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 thank you right he's like right. oh clearly someone was cruel to him he doesn't he's like a people. droid i don't know it's nonsense but in order for all of the armada of ships to leave they need to use a single navigational tower that they're going to destroy with the ewoks so they found a, a they found a way. We're gonna send in a first thing to, to and then the the ground troops are gonna destroy the navigation tower. So it's tower. Return of the Jedi, and literally. <laughs> so she leads the way. Palpatine is there waiting for her. Is he still hooked up to He's all still his, his his little robotic arm? And he goes, "You have to kill me." Kill me. You hate me. Embrace the hate and the dark side. By killing me, you'll become the leader of them all. So it's just Here's, Jedi. It's just and they there's this. Took the dialogue. There's a throne room. Why? Because he wants her to take the throne of the he Sith. Didn't build it with his mind. I don't know. It's just existed for for eons. I don't know. There's an entire room of In robed the, Sith wait, spirits. Okay. I have a question. If he was on the Death Star, electrocuted, thrown down a shaft, and then, you know, exploded, is incinerated, why is he on Exegol? Why is his his body? Because of the minions? I don't know. Shouldn't it be on planet with Death Star ruins? Cut your line? Like, yeah, I don't be know. In there. I. If anything. If anything, sure. Again, like, he shouldn't have been a physical body. I agree. Just be a voice. Or something. And, yeah. Or a ghost. Or also, this is a stupid plot point, also, but yes. Also, this is stupid, but like, oh, no. Yeah, so she's there. There's like these robed, hooded, <laughs> Sith chorus. Every Sith that's ever lived is here. <laughs> and they're going to sacrifice her? Well, and they're going to, so he wants her to kill him so she out of rage him. so that she will then, he will inherit the, it's cool. It's the plot of Jedi. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. The spirit and the force and then the Fear. power. Exactly. Yeah. It's all of that. So the, like Poe and Finn and them have like nothing to do with this movie. No, they're all on their way. But like they have nothing to do with this uh, Well, no, because now... They have to have a big space battle where they shoot people. And they are all shooting the, the, the Star Destroyers. Yeah. And Finn has to try and martyr himself. Wow, he really... What is going on with Finn? I don't know. He has like a death wish. He's like real repressed. Yeah. 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 Anyway, they go to take out the communication tower. Of course. Of course. But Richard E. Grant is like, I see what the fuck is going on here. They're yeah. going to try and take out our communication tower, our yeah. navigation tower. Yeah. Fuck them. Send the navigation from our ship. I mean, at this point, I'm rooting for Richard E. Grant, I'll be honest. <laughs> I mean, he's fully evil, but sure. So... At least he knows what he wants. So then they start to try and attack, and they, they land all of the troops on the surface of this Star Destroyer? In space? In On the planet, but yes, in space. What do you... They're like just, uh, you know, a thousand feet above ground of this planet. Is there atmosphere up there? Avril, those questions never apply. Like, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Is it like... There's like running around like it's an aircraft carrier? Kind of. But yes, it's but it's like uh, in the air. I, I can't explain it to you. I don't know. It's nonsense. But they're all, and then they, they, they land. They turn it from suck to blow. I mean, right? Oh. Oh. She's gone from suck to blow. 
Richard E. Grant is like, oh, well, disable their speeders. And she's like, they don't have speeders. And it's because they're on these little alien animals. Oh, that... not the camels from the casino planet. I mean, no, but yes. So they had these little aliens that they brought with them. Horses? Yeah, they're kind of like horse, donkey, alpaca-like. How'd they get to the spaceship? They were all in, they, they were in like a carrier they like, that landed on the spaceship. Why? And then they, they're like, ha! How is and that then they cool? have little grenades that they throw. How is having a horse... Because it's not electronic, and so it ship? can't be jammed <laughs> by the by the storm. You have legs. I, I, but they have to run faster? I don't know. This is just what happened. I didn't make it up. That's... Maybe the dumbest thing that you've told me <laughs> it's, tonight. It's very episode one e. They what have a these... cumbersome yep. animal mm -hmm. to transport. Yep. Yep. To then. <laughs> You just have to let it go. Okay. They knock out the communication tower, but then Finn notices that they're doing something else. So he's like, we have to take out the entire bridge of the ship. So he and his new girlfriend, who's not actually his girlfriend, stay when everyone else leaves. Sure, he has a death wish. Yes. And they, like, turn the turret of the ship toward the With control. the horses? No, I don't know. They just do it. I mean, they're not leaving the horses to die. I mean, then again, bringing all the horses back to the transport to then escape. Sticky situation. I, they do it. I don't know, it all just happens seamlessly in the background. Okay. Meanwhile, uh. Kylo Ren has some, oh, oh my God, I forgot. I'm so sorry, I forgot the most important thing that's gonna absolutely enrage you. Okay. Pretend like we're back on Kafir Line. <laughs> that's not what it's called. No, it's not. But I love it. Yeah. So he's like, oh, my mom is dead. She's, Ben, right? Oh, oh, oh emotional pangs. Ray escapes. Kylo Ren is, is still sitting here, stuck now without a ship. Right. On Kafir Line. Yeah. And then Harrison Ford shows no! up. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. As a ghost? But he doesn't have the force. It's just. Oh, it's, it's, how much it's, money did they it's, pay it's in him? His mind. How it's in his mind. much? Money did they throw on the table? They just, I mean, he was like, no, 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 <laughs> another hundred million, another hundred million, no. Okay, fine, I'll be in your movie for five seconds. They gave him all of the money. A fourth of the budget went to Harrison Ford because he was like, fuck this, I'm out, kill Han Solo. Do you know how much money you can make <laughs> selling reverse mortgages? <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> You have no idea. <laughs> it's a gold mine. Is that right? Please, someone find out how much money they gave Harrison Ford because it's so much. He it's probably so bought a plane. Money. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure he did. So yeah, he shows up and is like, "Oh, son, don't be evil. You can do this." Essentially. So that happened. What? He was just like, "Be better." He's like, "Don't be evil." Essentially, you know what you have to do. Everyone and they're knowing oh, what they have oh, to do. Oh, and that was there. There was another thing too. At this point, when they're in their battle, right? She's like, I. He's like, you should just take my hand, and we can rule together. I still want your hand in marriage, exactly. sister, <laughs> cousin, person. And she goes, I wanted to take your hand, Ben's hand. <laughs> so anyway, so now, are they gonna kiss? I really can't with this. I don't know. Oh my god, I forgot. Okay, oh boy. How much happens in this, this movie? Is, this is the whole, the whole climax oh. right here. So, exhausted. So Kylo Ren somehow, I forget how, but he shows up right. on Exegol. And he's there, but he doesn't have the force anymore because he's just Ben. He's not Kylo Ren. He's not evil anymore. So he like doesn't seem to have his full powers. But he still does have the force. Okay. I, it's confusing. Well, he has more control over his evil. Oh, also, he the dark threw, side. He threw his stupid lightsaber into the pools of <laughs> Kafir Lime. So many people throwing lightsabers. I know, so dumb. Like you know, it takes a while to make them. He's like, kill me, or I will destroy all of your friends. He opens up the sky. So it's the plot of Return of the Jedi. Yeah. You will witness the final destruction of the Alliance and the end of your insignificant rebellion. Where she sees the battle raging above. So it's the plot of Return of the Jedi. Okay, great. Yeah. The battle raging above, and he's like, if you don't kill me yeah. out of rage, yeah. then I'll all of them. them will die, and yeah. it'll be on you. Yeah. So kill me out of rage. Strike me down. Give in to your anger. 
so that I can absorb wow. your forces. I mean, I thought they were gonna just copy paste Jedi, but they really just copy pasted Jedi. Yeah. Then Kylo Ren shows up and she senses him and whatever they're communicating. She senses that he's good. Oh, so like together their dark and their light complete each other because they're the yin and the, the they're, yin. They're the, the binary or whatever. And they're yeah. gonna yeah. like yeah. have kids and. No, be perfect. that's definitely not in the cards. <gasps> so, so she holds her lightsaber behind her while okay. they force Skype, and then he go oh, picks yeah. up the lightsaber and is like, cha -cha -cha. It's like the magic mailbox in the lake house. They keep passing the lightsaber back and forth oh, that's via force Skype. Very silly. Very but like, silly. Kind of fun. Kind of fun but where they're like, like we're silly. both fighting the same. She's like, I have Leia's lightsaber, you have Luke's light, or we're both going back and forth. I don't know. Anyway, so they do that. They finally get together. Yeah. And then Palpatine is just like, ha ha, you're together. You two complete yourself. And gzzz, he hocus pocuses them <laughs> and sucks the life force out of them. <laughs> and it's just like, Ooh, I have my fingers back. Oh no. Ooh, I'm alive. I'm corporealizing. Because they're the Gemini twins. Because they're the Gemini twins that have all of the force. So wow. he sucks all of their energy out of them. Yeah. They collapse onto the floor. Palpatine then shoots a umbrella cloud of electricity. Oh, oh, I forgot. I forgot. Right? Okay, so the rebellion is all like fighting, but like Ugh, we don't have reinforcements. We need reinforcements. There's too many of them. And no one cares about us. Oh, thank Lando. God Lando in the Millennium Falcon Lando. shows up yeah. with all of the, of course. the people from and the Karen galaxy. Russell. Of course. Of course. Of course. This is when some of the people in the audience were clapping because, you know, like, oh, yay. But I will say at the same time, it was cheesy and it felt nice. Sure. It was heartwarming and like, we can do this. Sure. Fuck evil. My heart in, in this time needed that. Dictators can't stand, you know? It was nice. Someone will stand up for what's right. Exactly. So anyway, so they came in. Yeah. But right as they come in, then Palpatine is like, ha ha, I will electrocute you all through the atmosphere of this planet, maybe, sort of how? I don't know. Anyway, he electrocutes them all. They're all free falling. All the ships. All the ships are like, oh, we can't. We have no control. Because ah, he's electrocuting us. Oh, and he, um, he electrocutes Adam Driver down a shaft or something he's like you're gonna die like the your father died. oh well i was gonna say and like palpatine sure but he said like and your like father darth maul there's a lot of shafts a lot of open shafts oh so she's lying there looking up oh. at all of them being electrocuted and falling oh no the people that i love oh the rebellion oh yeah. my god and then this is a callback to earlier in the movie she was like meditating the first scene we see of her she's like cross-legged meditating floating okay and she's like, be with me, be with me. They're not with me. The spirits of the Jedi. Oh, no. Did they all show up as force ghosts and then they all together beat the Sith together? No. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. That's just what happened. And then the voice of Hayden Christensen no! shows up and says, Absolutely not. Right. No. <laughs> Ray, you have to bring balance to the forest like I did. Like he did. That's, uh, that was the whole Yoda thing of he will bring balance to the force. But that was Luke. Luke brought balance to the force. Well, but before. Anakin that, was a loose cannon. Well, but that he was. murdered a lot of children. Well, yeah. <laughs> Master Skywalker, there are too many of them. What are we going to do? Yoda shows up. You said it, Mace Windu. No. Oh. Qui Gon Jinn. Oh, they just really wanted to give everyone a check. They gave everyone a check. They had them They're all. Like, look, did all they, of the voices. Let's do it. They just. Liam tossed. Neeson showed up. Yeah, Liam Neeson's voice was. I, I mean, mean, whatever. It wasn't the visualization. It was just the. Okay, that's. Okay. It was better. That's better than. The, but it still was really hey, dumb to I'm be Mace like. Mace Windu. Oh, you got this, Ray. We are with you. So anyway, all of the Jedi, they all fucking show up, and they're like, yes, bitch, we got you. And he's like, I have all of the power of the Sith behind me. You and are nothing. Like, I've and got she goes, Jedi. I've got every Jedi. And then she brings oh, Luke's no. and Leia's. Oh, oh, right, because so, so she had Luke's lightsaber 
capturing his electricity. He was like, ah. Gzz, and she's like, Grr. It's like Voldemort. Ah. Yeah, and then she goes. He, he's like, I have every power. I have the power of all the oh Sith. God. And she's she like, crosses them. She takes Leia's sword and she, or lightsaber, and she's like, Ha cha! I have all of the Jedi behind me. And then no. he disintegrates. Like he was in Indiana Jones. Like he melts? He melts. His entire body melts. But so then I'm like, well, can he just be Frankenstein again? What's happening? I don't know. This is nonsense. I mean, yeah. So anyway, if, she's... If enough fear and and darkness is in the universe... Sure. You know, and we don't get that applause for Tinkerbell to bring it, back it, the light. Exactly. And then he disintegrates, but she has worn herself out so much that she's <gasps> just, like, passed out. She's, like... Basically dead. And then Kylo climbs up the shaft and like hovers over her and like gives her his force power. <laughs> yes. That is what happens. Do they kiss? Yes. No! <laughs> but they're not in love? It's, it's just a force kiss. It's unknown because after he has life forced her back oh to God, life. I feel like if I saw them kiss, I would be, like, upset about it. I was. Like, I, oh no! We're still doing, like, Sleeping Beauty. We're still doing, and the princess was awoken by the prince's kiss. Come well, on. it wasn't that, but yeah, but more like, or less, yes. It was, though. Yeah, a little bit. It's so Snow then, White. And she so then was, he like, life forces Disney. her. It's Disney. Yes. Like, it's yes. just the same. Yes. If it was two, if the story was written and it was two men that were doing this Ooh. and teaming up, oh. they wouldn't have They would never kiss. kiss. Right, that's true. It'd be like, oh, bro, I got yeah. you. Yeah, that's true. They'd like, do one of these and like, ah. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's fucking annoying. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so he light forces, say, it brings her back to life. Yeah. But then he spends all of his light force bringing her back to life. So then she kisses him back to life? No, 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 that he dies. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. And he disappears at the same time that Leia's body now disappears. So his body just disappears. Because she's still hanging out on And her Forest body, planet. they like covered her with a cloth, but like then the cloth just falls away because her body's no longer there. And they're like, ah, she's moved on. She's become one with the Force. At the same time that her son has, because he's now good, because he's helped save everyone. I don't know. That's just what happens. Mm. They all light speed back to... Wait, so his body just, poof, disappears. Gone. Yeah, gone. One with the Force. But he doesn't take his helmet off and he's like surprisingly black or something. No, no, no. He'd already taken he's the like, helmet off and it was... Yeah. It's James Earl Jones! Oh my god! <laughs> No, that'd be great. He just peels off his face. Oh, also, Unzip, Darth Vader unzips was, his skin. God, that's and like it's just cat. James Earl Jones. Uh, no, but Dar James Earl Jones is also in this movie. God. As the voice of one of the Sith. Uh, no, of Darth. Well, of Darth Vader. Of a Jedi. Of Darth Vader. But Hayden Christensen is also there. Yes. Which is confusing. They're the same person. I mean, that's nonsense. I mean, we can't get into this. I, that's. We could be here for another four hours. Like we can't. Anyway, so they all go back to Endor. There are Ewoks, so maybe? Do they nothing. sing a song or they like jump no, jump? No, 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 jump, ba -da, ba -da. <laughs> jump, jump. No, they don't. That's not. But they do have a big Does celebration. Does Ray let her hair down finally and there's like two braids and it's really poofy? No. Okay. But there are lesbians that kiss. Oh, hey! And everyone was like, oh my god, there's a lesbian kiss in Star Wars. Disney gets it. And it's like, but like you guys, it was a three second kiss in the background of these characters that we've never met before. <laughs> That just, you know, I was going to say, who kisses? I, I couldn't tell you. As far as I know, two lesbian art teachers from Santa Fe were happened to be on set kiss? I don't know. I don't know who they were. Apparently they were rebel fighters. Okay. Now they, if Poe and Finn had kissed... Exactly. That's bravo! A yes. yes. would have loved that. Yeah, but no, that doesn't happen. Yeah. So they celebrate, and then the movie oh, ends. Oh, boy. I mean, they're all going to force ghosts. Sergeant Pepper, right? No, 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 that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. Bye! Oh my god, bye! It's balanced now, everything's great! Oh my god. So then Ray somehow f flies her way to Tatooine. Oh. Boy. Where she visits the ranch, the the cooling farm, what was it called? Oh, where Luke grew up? Sponge mo Moisture Farm. Moist Esley Moisture Farm. <laughs> Did she go to Tasha Station and pick up some power converters? Oh my god, no, she does not, as far as I know. <laughs> But I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. But so she's walking her, she goes to the farm. Because that's what Luke really cared about? I, he couldn't wait to get the fuck out of there. She buries his and her lightsabers because in the ground. Because she was even from there? 
No. I don't think Leia ever went to Tatooine. Nope. What a bunch of nonsense. And then... So she could stand there and there could be two moons and she could like be there's, on a There's two suns as she whatever. looks out into the sun. Uh, and then some wait, woman... she buries their lightsabers? She like buries their lightsabers. Again, why? They're useful. I mean, I guess she's going to make her own? Or maybe The Last Jedi? I don't know. Then some woman, old woman out of nowhere shows up. Old crone. Begging your pardon, lady. And it's like, no one's been here in ages. Who are you? And she goes, Ray. And she goes, Ray who? <laughs> and she goes, Ray Skywalker. What? I guess she felt like because she was raised and taught by Luke and Leia, but that Luke she just has a her the whole and time. And because she was in love with Kylo Ren? But that doesn't mean you're just them. That she's now gonna lay like, claim to the Skywalker family name? That's weird. So that's the rise of Skywalker. Or is it the rise of Skywalker as in like to goodness because he gave, uh, he brought, came I mean, to the light? Luke was risen from the dead. I, is that what they're talking about? I don't know. Is Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru's last name Skywalker then? No, it's Anakin Skywalker. Oh, that's true. So, so I'm assuming they just like gave, they were like, Here's that Mary grip. Magdalene Skywalker. Here's like a... Ah, remember that? <laughs> I carried him. I raised him. There was no father. <laughs> I mean, we're led to believe that Anakin Skywalker is Jesus. These, I mean, that's what I'm saying. So it's like, when you look at the entirety, like, these three yeah. had a, a thing going. There is and a, then when you look at the entirety of, time. of the nine, yeah. the majority is nonsense. Oh, yeah, now at this point, the average of the film is very bad. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, this was one of the better ones. It was sure. still nonsense, but it was at least coherently told. Well, I mean, nothing's ever going to be as bad as the prequels, so... I, that's what I'm saying! Like, like you know, it's like, ugh. Like, the second one especially, episode two. But also episode one, there's so much about well, intergalactic politics. Episode one is just trash. I mean, I hold a no vote of no confidence in Council of Valorum. Why is this in this movie? Because Palpatine <laughs> needed to be like, Ah, machinations of my evil political plan. Because he spent all the prequels being like, I'm going to use politics yeah. and the law to like become all powerful. But then at this point, he's just, I'm just evil, I'll use lightning. One could say, isn't that how any dictatorship comes to be? Sure. Yes. Wait, so Finn never is like, I love you, Ray. No. Oh, and then there's this weird throwaway, awkward setting up the sequels line, where Lando, they're all celebrating, right? And Lando goes, hey, other person of color. With the lady? Yeah. Okay. What's your story? Who oh, so were your parents? Solo and she says, I don't know who my parents were. And he goes, let's find out. Because it's him? Because she's Lando's daughter? Well, that's what I kept thinking. I was just like, what is this? Thing? And then I think it was more supposed to be like, let's set up the next adventure of a side spin movie where now you go off. Because she's the only one that will agree to sign a contract to continue to do these movies. Perhaps. I don't know. Either way, it was just like, well, this is awkward. And once again, now for the second time in this movie, you have one of the four people of color, perhaps? Ask the other person of color, what's your story? Let's bond because we have the same skin tone. And I'm like, this is uncomfortable. Come on. What happened to Rose? Oh, she was there. What happened to Poe? He's an asshole, but he's better now. What's Chewie doing? He's still there. He shows up, he helps, I don't know. In the end, he's just like, Wah! you know. You're what's like, C-3PO and R2 doing? They're also hanging out. So you're telling me that Luke and Leia don't show up as force ghosts to wave goodbye to her at the end. No, they don't, unfortunately. Man! I know, I really I know. thought that was my ace in the hole. But they are force ghosts, so like, come on. It'll bring back Alec Guinness. Who's that? The Obi-Wan. He's dead or now, Ewan right? McGregor. They bring back Ewan McGregor, I think. <laughs> they don't, they didn't have the voices, as far as I'm sure, they didn't bring back the voices of anyone who was literally dead. Okay. In real life. Great. Oh, because I think there is going to be a Ewan McGregor, Obi-Wan. Yes. 
Like uh, the after years. I think it's a Disney Disney Plus yeah. movie or something, something show. So I was looking it up, and I, I guess there's gonna be like some more backstory movies and or shows. Yeah. I haven't watched The Mandalorian. I'm pretty sure you have not either. I have not. I've heard good things, but really? I just don't care. I've heard mostly it's kind of nonsense, but people are watching it. Oh, largely okay. in part because of Baby Yoda. I've heard a lot about Baby Yoda. It's really baffling to me. I was looking it up. Because I was like, when the hell did Force Awakens come out? When did Disney acquire... Three years ago! 2015! I was like, when did Disney acquire Star Wars? It seems like it's been a decade. No. It's been like four years. Yeah. And I was like, oh, they already ran it to the ground. Yeah. Like they they've ran. already yep. like mined the yep. entire well. Now, this is my big overarching question. Okay. How did Disney, with all of the money mm -hmm. and all of the Star Wars, uh -huh. not plan out a trilogy? I don't know. Write three scripts, change them as you go, but like write three scripts. Thank you. I... They should have hired the same people to write the scripts and then you can hire whoever the fuck you want to direct it if you want to do that. But like have a plan. Have a plan. Ooh, have they a plan. literally took DC's approach of like, oh, let's shit the bed. You know, like, they took the DC approach of like, and then these all come together in a way. And we'll hire the same writer. Hmm. As opposed to the Marvelness. I mean, like, I thought, I mean, you know, I have a lot to say, and we have, about Avengers. <laughs> yeah. And all of them. All of but, them. What, say what you will. But like Avengers Endgame, they part one a, and two, they, they had, had a plan. plan. <laughs> it all fit together. The puzzle pieces made a picture that at least made some sort of sense. Yeah. And this... Did it was clear that that was not the case. <laughs> well, and they, they obviously like put all their eggs in Ryan Johnson's basket and then went, oh no, what happened? But apparently they still are talking to him about doing more movies. What? I'm not angry about that. Well, I mean, I like, think he's good at making movies. Ryan Johnson's having a good year. Dives out. He's like, hey, bitch, I don't yeah. care. Yeah. People are now like, ooh, I loved Last Jedi. I mean, I don't. I still don't get it. I will not ever defend that movie. It was garbage. It, in my opinion, it's very bad. It was very, very bad. At least there was some weirdness. Sure. The best part of the movie. Luke drinking that milk out of that milk. Oh my god. That, that really oh just god. That stuck with me. Yeah. In a real way. <laughs> Anyway, well, I'm happy with my choice. I think you're fine. I think it would have only enraged me. Yeah. And um, that's it was fun talking to you about it, though. <laughs> okay. Oh, and glad fun you're guessing good. the whole thing out. Anyway. You really like, but like honestly, if weird. we look back at your predictions, you were pretty much that's right pretty about spot all. Spot on, except for the gay. I mean, there was a gay kiss, but not the right. One, not the one I predicted. It, exactly. Yeah. Well, um, cheers to the end of this. Yo, yeah, oh, right. So yeah, the, 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 this is over. It's so. It's They've over. all kind of said like this: the end of the Skywalker. These the original it's tie the storyline is done. I mean they're gonna just loop it again, but I it mean, will be with different people. But it seems like they might take Daisy Ridley still. I don't know. They have to give her all the money. She seems over it. Maybe she is. And yeah. maybe they maybe they'll just let it be and they'll explore. I honestly would prefer that. Yeah, yeah. Do just more rogue ones. Do three generations from now and it's her grand I don't give a shit. Who cares? Whatever the fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, also do a different thing, but sure. But like, they're obviously they're gonna stay in this galaxy in the world and whatever. And yeah. I'm fine with that. Just give me a different story that's unique and well thought out. I'm quite excited. I didn't give Disney any of my money. I um, gave them. It was a mat discount matinee price. Oh, good, good for you. Cheers to Carrie Fisher, yeah. Mark Hamill, and Harrison Ford because honestly, they're fabulous. Yes. And cheers to Frank Oz. Yeah. Cash that check, Frank Oz. Right.